you see the silhouetted figure standing on the other end right there. Uh, he's like, he looks, guards, are you? Oh, goodness. Those aren't my guards. What's one of them? <laughs> so uh, throws the body across the ground. Ah! Oh, oh, Maru! You, you defeated Han Maru? No, I... He had a he name? Had a... <laughs> he also defeated your most powerful warrior, Buji. Who? <laughs> Who? <laughs> oh, did you not... Oh, oh shit. No, he was, he was far and away the most effectual. <laughs> oh... Uh, he looks, looks around, I, um, Hanmaru just kind of laying on the floor unconscious, he, uh, hmm, I seem to have come off on the wrong foot. Obviously, and he looks around the room, not really seeing anyone through the silhouettes entirely, um, I, I must apologize, if, if you would desire, uh, currency for this poor excuse on my part, I was just trying to do my job, but... I mean, obviously, my <laughs> life is better than my job. Fool! <laughs> <laughs> you think, you think that money is going to get you out of this? <laughs> this, I... this treasure of mine, he swaps to the blue parasol. Oh, no. You've damaged it. Beyond recognition, your man has lain waste <laughs> to one of the most beautiful objects in all of Rauchi. <laughs> I... Junior, I did not mean to cause damage to your beauty. I wish to take your life gracefully. You deserve that no, much at least. No, 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 no. I thought when I came here that I could deal with you as a fellow connoisseur of beauty. <laughs> but I see now that regardless of your radiant exterior, that inside your heart is ugly. <laughs> <laughs> he he fumes a bit. You, you would not understand. I seek to rule more than just this town. And the great squid god will grant that to me along with many other powers. Uh, huh? <laughs> they stop the two in the back stop eating their lunch off the floor. <laughs> oh my squid god. Yeah, uh, uh, he looks back and forth. Holding his, uh, his fan together. You were chosen, and of course you came, which proved enough you were guilty of trying to move against me. So, I decided your death was necessary. Can you invite us? Uh, he, uh, tap, you see him tapping his fan against his head. A ploy on my part. I intercepted your letters and changed them. I- Huh. Joke's on you. I never read my letter. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually true. <laughs> it's a joke. Uh, I, I, uh... Listen, listen. Is... We can call this here, don't you agree? There's no reason to continue this fight. Hmm. Uh, you examine these lanterns, uh, Hideo. That's a good call, actually. Um, you look, they're just little incense kind of lanterns, and the way they shine, though, reveals something strange about the wall in front of you. Uh-oh. This wall here, the way the light catches on them, they don't... Hmm. It's strange. Uh, a quality about this wall in particular is rather different. Uh, he notices you peeking around, and it's like, uh, Anyways, enough, enough. Let's, uh... If, if not money, what would you desire of me? Anything, please! Hmm. Tell me, what in this life is most beautiful to you? My, he considers this when he's going to talk. Uh, my, my beautiful palace, of course. Well, there you have your answer. I will buy it. <laughs> <laughs> no, you would not. 
Oh, but I'm afraid I can. The Yoshihara no. clan may have met with horrible, unconscionable disgrace, but we do have a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> Enough to purchase the entire livelihood of a worthless miscreant such as yourself. Give me this thing that you take the most pleasure in, and I will wipe away your debt to me. He fumes. No, you will not. I still have a warrant for your debts. You won't take this. You will die here before I lose my castle. <laughs> Suddenly, a sickle and chain strings out, and you feel it pierce into your umbrella, completely tearing it apart and scratching across you. Uh, the wall itself shakes a bit. It's a fake partition. Hideo, you were aware of this the moment that the, the chain came out of it. Someone is behind that door. A warrior. They'd mentioned there was a captain, soldiers, and there was a boy. This boy. He emerges outwards as from around the wall, an individual appears. Holding a sword in his hand, dropping his chain to the side, he steps out from the wall and moves <gasps> forward, stepping over and raising the sword. He swings the chain slightly and then simply puts it to his side, clicking his just teeth at how pathetic and annoying his master is. Regardless, he raises his sword down and switches to a different stance. He switches purple. Ooh, purple? What? That's not a color! <laughs> Um, as he moves forward, sorry about this, and suddenly he raises his sword up, he puts the stance forward, spreading his legs, raising up the blade, and he releases a chant out into the air. Fiji Zulu style! Oh, dear sweet Jesus! Something strange happens. He comes in, and the fury of his blows charge forward. He strikes like a madman, swinging forward with no abandon of his own safety. As he continues moving in and doing blows against you, you take six damage as he cuts into you in two different spots. You manage to pull back just barely enough as he stands there, and just, that's his turn, so now it's player turn. God, that's so fucking dope. Um, huh. Oh my god, uh, I think, um... I think it should be either, like, it should be Junya, maybe, because his umbrella got ruined, unless he's yeah. too destroyed. I, th there is something that I want to do, yes. Fantastic. Um, okay. If I can. Yeah, so he he's standing there, like, entire destroyed umbrella in his arms, like, shaking quietly. <laughs> He, uh, he, he whirls towards Tokujin, who then sees, uh, sees Hideo getting, getting struck off to the side, uh, and kind of, like, looks back and forth, like, oh, it's time to make a choice about what's really important, and, uh, he, he, like, closes his eyes, uh, but drops the, drops the fragments of Umbrella to the ground, pulls out a different one, um, and to try to deter the onslaught against Hideo, uh, he is going to, he's going to take out, uh, one of his makeups, his alchemical supplies, and, uh, throw it at, uh, this lantern to oh. get it to, like, explode in a little, like, I got it. I of chemicals and make it make a little, like, cloud or whatever. All right, that hits because he can't dodge. Uh, so it blows and you knock him back, essentially. He, uh, the fire licks at his body and he takes four damage, kind of blocking with his, uh, his eyes with his arm as he kind of stumbles back again. Jeez. No, sir. Your ruffians shall not lay another hand on my man. <laughs> and you turn back. <laughs> you turn back and Togujin is scuffled off into the partition area and is hiding in the corner. He uh, turns around and, and looks, the fire kind of, fueling up a bit, he quickly slices down the lantern, wraps around it with the sickle and chain, and as he does that with the sickle and chain, he flings it over in your direction, tossing it over at you. He changes colors, he changes to yellow, and you clash. Oh, oh shit. Ugh. I think he's, uh, uh, Junya, uh, 
quickly switches this one to Naginata and is going to kind of step around, uh, catch the lantern on the side of its curved blade, and just swing it completely around and then back at him. <laughs> All right, you do that, going in and twisting it around and tossing it back. He has to, uh, basically he abandons the cyclin chain, uh, leaving that weapon in order to avoid the hit by just dodging out of the way. Okay. Uh, so that kind of falls down to the ground. A few of the sparks getting up on that rug right there as he switches. Uh, as the fire clears, there is a sonic boom as Sho closes the distance. Sword helps straight out and tries to stab at him. Uh, you go in then, yeah, so... Describe what happens. Sho, uh, Sho juts her sword forwards through the flames, actually stops an inch from him, pauses, twists it around behind her back, and then braces a palm against his chest and just, boom, throws him back about five feet into that, uh, into that lantern, then returns her sword again, lowers it at him. If I could have your pleasure of a duel. Uh, he stands up. Uh, looking at himself, feeling the spikes poking into him, he looks and says, uh, that's very kind of you. Uh, he stands up again, not killing me like that. <laughs> How could I refuse such a generous offer? <laughs> Excellent. He picks up his sword again from his side, and he switches back forward. My name is Sun Jaba of the Hijizuu style. What is yours? My name's Sho, just Sho. Um... And this sword is something new that I'm trying. Uh, she, she picks it up and, like, braces it against her again. And, if I win this duel, if you could... <laughs> reaches into her coat and pulls out a book. If I could have the pleasure of you reading chapter one of this to me, she slides it across the floor. I'd really appreciate it. <laughs> His face is confused. And he's like, well, if neither of us are dead, sure thing. He <laughs> raises his sword up again. As he looks and moves forward, he charges in. The strike coming forward, once again, he releases a chance. Fiji Zulu style! Three more slices coming almost at the same time. A series of blows against you. Uh, Buru is going to sprint around. Um, and uh, Hideo, do you want to do a co-op I attack? I have an idea... Uh, but yeah, let's do a co-op attack. Oh. That oh. sounds more fun. Ooh, fantastic. No, well, the co-op attack is pretty simple. Uh, Buru is basically just going to sprint around and using his bronze bull, uh, his incredible strength, he's just going to get this guy in a full Nelson and let Hideo do whatever the okay. hell he wants. <laughs> As you come in from the side, uh, he realizes that you're trying to sneak one up on him. Uh, he backs up again and kind of like, he pulls his blade back, but he can't fully turn to you, so instead, he stabs his blade through his robe, the blade just emerging out of his clothes and stabbing you in the chest. You pull back enough, but it draws blood. And then on the other end, uh, he whips it around and then slices across Hideo's chest as well. Oh. And two blows, and then he levels the blade again at, uh, Sho. Well, I didn't know that duels were three on one. <laughs> Did I read the mood wrong? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Junior, as you as you're considering there, you're like, oh, well, what should I do in this situation? And then suddenly a movement. Mm. Ah, <laughs> ah, I'm not done yet. The man stands up. <laughs> I am Hanmaru, and you are going down. Oh goodness, you're still alive. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, then, yeah, I'm just going to, uh, I've still got my Naginata out, um, mm -hmm. so, yeah, I'm just going to try to block with the haft. So he does go in and, uh, goes at a slice, tearing away a bit of your sleeve. Mm -hmm. So, the Sanjeva approaches forward, um, and attempts to dart forward and stab at you as you fall back, not letting you really escape in this moment. Again, his style. He seems to push forward with such severity, such intensity. You have to mash every blow, but even that is not enough. He lacks any form of defensive style, any sort of self-preservation. He simply moves, like an extension of his master's hand. A blade, through and through. He strikes again. Fiji Zulu style! You notice that, uh, yeah, no, Sho takes a step backwards and she lets out... 
one long breath and just puts her hand on her sword and focuses in for a moment. Uh, this is, this is her own personal style, and we're going to see if it's enough. On the, on the defensive, fighting against this man seems almost impossible. You must all embrace Ovid's yourself, perhaps, in order to fight him. When he is the one moving, his blows seem unmatched. Uh, he's just going for fancy stab, I assume, where he's got his little fun chain going on. Oh, no, he's going solely. He's discarded the chain. Oh, okay. Uh, when he goes for the sword, um, Buru is going to use his Tetsubo to uh, basically go for a quick slam against his leg to make him lose his footing and step to the side. Nothing too fancy. Yeah, he jams on the leg there and kind of stumbles past a bit, uh, regaining his footing in the corner. So, now it's player turn. Uh, Junior, you wanna, you wanna yeah, go? Yeah, I'd like to try to t take out Big Try McGee <laughs> over here. <laughs> Um, yeah, Junya got, uh, got the worst of their last little, uh, last little exchange of blows. He's gonna mm -hmm. go in and, uh, lock, uh, lock into a blow uh, with this guy again. Um, mm -hmm. and so, like, he'll, he'll thrust forward with the Naginata, letting, letting it get blocked just short of the strike. Um, mm -hmm. but then he, uh, he... Pulls a switch on the Naginata, the blade retracts at the side that's blocked, and emerges from the other end, and he's just gonna pivot it around the blade the other direction and strike that way. Uh, he holds, blocking the first blow. As I told you, Hanbaru! Of the and as soon as he says that, uh, you spin it around, and, uh, he's like, wait, wait, uh, again?! <laughs> Shit, not again! <laughs> and then you knock him unconscious instantaneously. The knife cutting along as he again falls to the floor. Show, <laughs> we're going to have to have a conversation. I believe you know very well how I feel about not cleaning up your messes. <laughs> uh. I figured it was somebody else's problem. She looks down, then looks up at you, and I figure I was kind of right. <laughs> Standing up again and regaining its attention, his attention is almost entirely focused on Buru now, at least for the moment. Uh, he raises up the blade again and attempts to strike in at him. Fiji Zulu style! He deftly maneuvers around the Tetsubo and gives you a strong cut along your right arm. Uh, slicing, and then moving back, he then darts to the side and attempts to attack Hideo as well. Uh, well, uh, never trust your eyes. He's swinging over there, fighting, uh, fighting with Buru. Uh, I... I have since moved. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he twists around, but without even realizing, he was relying on his ears, and hearing that, he stopped suddenly and realized, shit, he's gone. <laughs> yeah, uh... I, I stab it. <laughs> please, please don't kill me, he says. Your bodyguard's scary. You really know how to hire him. But so does Junya. And so I, uh, I just, I, I just <laughs> lift, uh, lift my sword uh, and, uh, and, and, and give him a poke. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Holy uh, he, shit. He begs, but then he clashes. For he's also a slimy bastard. He pulls out a sword from his coat and attempts to stab uh -oh. up at you. And you fucking stab through it. <laughs> You're just like, uh, die. <laughs> uh, <laughs> as you stab through him, you notice black ink spilling out from his, uh, chest. From his back. This isn't blood, but it sure is spilling like it. Uh, he gargles a bit as, uh, Jaba realizes what's going on over there and... Jaba, realizing his boss is in trouble, he kind of... He looks like he's going to charge directly at you, Burr, but he doesn't. He slides past, uh, picking up the chain and sickle from where he discarded it right pretty much there on the ground. Uh, pulling it aside and whisking it past to jab directly into Hideo, Hideo from behind. No! Uh, Hideo, you, you're moving in, and then suddenly you feel the, the absolute tip of, like, the curved side, in other words, the blunt part, impacts you in the back of the head and kind of scratches your back on the way out. However, the immense impact knocks you unconscious for at least a moment as you fall down to the ground. Uh, Tokujin, good job, <laughs> Um, he says, bleeding out on the floor. Uh, 
Uh, you want me to just like fucking down smash Sunjaba? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, give it a shot, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna try and smash him like a nail and try and make him go to the lo uh, lower level because it's just straw on the floor. <laughs> you smash him down. Uh, now, when you smash him into the floorboards, uh, there was something there. Underneath the straw, there was an actual wooden support. However, you crush him straight down in there as planks go splintering, and he barely holds on, uh, almost the, the ground itself creaking and cracking as the tatami mats there just barely manage to hold themselves together. Uh, he moans a bit in pain as he kind of, like, pushes his foot down on the floor, and, like, scrabbles, just scrumbles back to try to pick himself up, holding himself dizzy, as he just is reeled by the fact that you just drove wood splinters, your body, all of your weight down into him. This is the part where you surrender, Ken. Uh, Tokuten, clutching his wounds, dying on the floor, uh, raises up his knife and holds it up to Hideo's neck, and is like, Don't move, or I Do kill it. you! Do it, motherfucker! Grant me the peace I deserve! <laughs> 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 screens, uh, screens block vision in both directions. Yes, but they Junior do. sure heard that. He's <laughs> 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 just gonna dive through the screen. <laughs> Parasol out. You shan't lay a hand on my most beautiful possession! <laughs> he's, just go he's going to swing his Naginata around and try to behead this guy. Yeah. Okay, you bring it down, and suddenly the man's head is severed from his body, Ooh. flying off as blood spurts up, the inky blood spattering across your umbrella. You block it like rain. Yeah, it's, it's like... Psh it does like the comedy anime blood shower and it's just like it falls on the rain as Junior just like looks down at the ground at high school. <clears throat> Hideo? Uh, what? Oh! Shit. And don't don't make it Are you, en are you enjoying uh, yourself uh, down don't, there? don't make another move or he's dead! <laughs> oh! I'm uh, covered in blood. Ah! Oh. I, I... I must have got him. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh, uh, my lord, are you alright? Junia, like, raises the Naginata up and does a single, like, whip to the side to whip the ink off of it. <sniffs> Never better. <laughs> well, seeing as you're currently unemployed, maybe now you would consider surrendering? He looks up, uh, drops the chain and sickle, is holding his sword, he switches to purple, he looks back and forth, and he thinks, Yeah, yeah, that's probably for the best, isn't it? Yeah, probably. Yeah. He stops right there, and, yeah, he just, uh, simply stands there and looks. That's good. I... Marvelous. Simply marvelous. The one thing that's better than a cute child is a smart child. <laughs> he collapses back against the pillows, his body tired and sore now from uh, Buru's strike. Show oh. walks forward and picks up her book, and then takes a few steps back. Um. Thanks, kid. Um. He, like, gently kicks the weapons over to Sunjaba. Those are yours. Um, listen, it sounds like there's gonna be, um, celebration, seeing as that tyrant's dead. I think you're more than welcome to join us. Uh, maybe eat something first. He sets down a Buru Bento box, which actually, <laughs> uh, can, can heal. Oh, okay. Let me, uh, let's see how that heals him. He takes a look. Okay. Yeah. This. I'm out of the job now, and this will be a big blow to whatever reputation I may have had. He reaches forward and grabs the box and just starts casually eating it. Reputation isn't everything, necessarily. <laughs> like, I see Leo's eyes fucking unfocused for a second. <laughs> to be fair, Sinjaba. Not only were you outnumbered, but one of them happened to be the great Hideo Fumikaze. 
<laughs> he kind of stares. Really? Mm hmm. Oh. And you knocked him out, so that's got to be worth You failed something. your lord. You should kill yourself. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only way you can maintain your honor. Shh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> It's all right now. Just, just hush while I. Oh, I'm going to have to use so much of this. <laughs> it takes out like foundation. He sits back. I suppose I won't mind that party then. I mm. may. Everything just got all awful and sidetracked, didn't it? <laughs> he, uh, Damn. he just kind of leans for a second and uh, looks forward. Are you a book reading? Uh, show sh slowly shakes her head. Actually, quite the contrary. I lost. Uh, fucking and, f just sepia tone bullshit foggy filter anime flashback to the exact mm. moment that they clashed with their full styles. Your Hijizuru style is really something, and I couldn't quite compare. I think I'll take the loss this time, and I'll come back for revenge when I've learned a little bit more. Uh, Buru puts a hand on your shoulder. I'm more than willing to read that chapter for you. You can read the next one. I'm reserving this one for him. <laughs> we can start in the middle. <laughs> a bold decision. She she takes a step away, and then, uh, for show, I would like to burn that one read I got on him in combat for clashing. Mm -hmm. Or okay. two reads, God. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'd like to burn those two reads to understand a little bit about Hijizuru style, but that's something for later. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You take that and you internalize. He did not teach you a lesson about that book you hold in your arms. However, he did teach you a different kind of weapon. A weapon of swords. The language of a warrior. He sits there, happily eating a bento box and smiling. Um, as he feasts down on that. And, with that, you somewhat stand looking around. Well, you never know what happened to that person you were supposed to meet, and I guess it was all a trap, but things were solved, and at the end of the day, hmm. Well, maybe going back to the end and grabbing a drink would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta make sure those boys patch the hole. Well, my lord, we should do inventory on your new keep. Yes, yes. Oh, Ugh. I'm going to enjoy it so much knowing that I took it from him in his last moments. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, what are you gonna do with this place? Let's raise it! Smash cut to it being on fire! <laughs> <laughs> raise it and salt the fucking earth! <laughs> uh, with that, however... The day comes to an end, and you simply look around. The keep now in see, everything delivered. You have defeated, despite not fully being aware of what you just walked into, the first of the squid's arms. And there will be many more from where that came from. Even now, another is on its way. Tokujin, in his arrogance, attempted to attack them alone. However, he is most certainly far from alone. In fact, the individual in question has already arrived, carefully, silently, overlooking their next action.